AI is all the rage these days, and it's no wonder that it's made its way over to Minecraft. Maybe someday we'll be able to completely make a Minecraft server using AI. That would be really nice because that would actually give me a chance to like hang out with friends instead of making Minecraft servers all day. <laughs> well, for now we can use AI for answering here. players' questions in chat or helping them out using a new plugin called GPT Assistant. This new plugin can be used to reply to common questions in chat like how do I join the Discord or even execute commands for players. Or you can literally just screw with it, it's completely up to you. Now before we begin, there are a few things that you need to know before you can use GPT Assistant. First of all, it is a premium plugin. I was given a free license from the developer for making this video, but all thoughts in this video are completely my own. Now you will need to be running a Minecraft paper or spigot server to run this plugin. If you need to create a Minecraft server, I have a bunch of free hosting tutorials and Breakdown Craft literally has like 15 identical videos about how to do it. Now you will also need an API key from OpenAI to run this. I'm pretty sure that this does require money, but there might be a free trial that you can use. I can't really tell. Now there is another plugin by the same developer called GPT Talk. This one adds like the ability to make NPCs talk and stuff. It's pretty cool. So I might make a video on it if people like this video, but if like nobody watches this video, then I might not make a video on it. Speaking of likes, make sure to like and subscribe and let's get our GPT assistant set up and ready to play. All right, so the first thing you need to do is download the plugin. So I have it here on Polymart. You can also get it on Built by Bit. So I just want to click download. Now you will have to buy it and make a Polymart account. I'm sure you can figure that out though. You're smart. Click on save and then we can go into our server. I'm using Revive Node. You can get a server from them. I'll have my link in the description. So we want to go into our plugins folder and then we want to go to upload and then upload our plugin. And then we can go to our console and restart our server. All right, now our server has started up. So let's go see the config files. We can go into our file manager, go back to our plugins folder. And as we can see, we have a GPT assistant folder. So if we go into it, we can see we have all this. We want to head into the config.yml and now we need to get an API key. How do I get an API key, Crafty Crawler? I'm glad you asked. All we have to do is head to our OpenAI account and go to our API keys and we want to create a new secret key. We can call this whatever we want. I'm going to call it this and then we want to click create secret key. And now we need to copy it and then we need to go back to our page here and paste it in and then we can save the file. Now you will need to have some money on your account to actually use this, so you can head over to the billing and then add payment details. It says free trial. I can't test that out because it only lets you like have one account per person because of like phone numbers. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. But now all we want to do is go to our console and then restart our server once more. A few moments later. All right, now that our server has restarted and we have our API key loaded, we are good to start talking to the AI. So what we want to do is put a one of these, I forget what that's called, and then we can be like, hello. And there we go, now Steve replied to us. Hello, how can I assist you today? Okay, I didn't think we'd get that violent this quickly. Let's see what it says. Oh my gosh! Okay, he, he literally doesn't care that I just like told him to k himself. But we can also ask him other questions like, how do I make money on the server? That's a valid question, isn't it? You can make money on the server by selling items at the shop, working jobs, or completing missions. None of which we have on this server because it's a dev server. And then if we want to talk to the other AI, which is more of like the assistant, what we can do is put one of these little stars right here and then say like fly and then it'll give me the ability to fly look at that so this is only if you have permission to fly so it'll execute slash fly for you we can also execute other commands like heal me or i need to heal and then it'll heal me but i had full health so you can't even see it so now that we've seen how the plugin actually works, let's go through and edit some of the configuration files so it can be more suited to our server. So we're going to first go into the chatbot folder and go into Steve. And we have many settings here. So like the ID, the name, the short tag, which was like that 
the dash that we used and we can add like all sorts of things if you want to change the amount of interactions that players are allowed to talk to them so we can set this to like one you're only allowed to talk to him once a day or you can be like you're allowed to talk to him a thousand times a day now the data set this is really important so we can add like different triggers so like how to claim land it'll tell you to use a golden shovel so let's make our own uh, one of these triggers so we can copy number eight copy and we want to go all the way to the bottom and paste it in and we want to change the number to 13 and then the need we will change to what is the best minecraft server crafted smp is the best minecraft server and then we want to save that now we can go back into the game and type slash gpta reload and now we can be like what is the best minecraft server and also don't forget the don't forget that and there we go it says crafted smp is the best minecraft server which is true you should join so we can make it say all sorts of things like you can make it say literally whatever you want. So now let's edit the assistant so it can help us execute certain commands. So we can head to the assistant, go to Alex. You can make more of these if you want, just give it a different ID. You can make infinite chatbots and assistants. So we can scroll down and we are going to make our own one of these. So again, we will just copy all of this, go down a line and then go back and then We'll name this to number eight. So query, I don't think I say that word right. We will say, I want to warp to the spawn. It's different than just going to the spawn. That's all I could think of. So we can do slash warp spawn. And then the purpose will be warping to spawn. Save that and go back in game. So now we can do slash GPTA reload again. And then we can do star. I want to warp to spawn. And there we go. Look at that. It warped us to the spawn. You're not supposed to see this yet. So now you're probably wondering, well, what the heck does Crafted Croy think about this plugin? I give it an 8 out of 10 on the Craftometer. Most plugins these days are 10 to $20, but this one's only $3. So that's pretty cheap. But I wish it did have a couple more features. So should you buy it? I mean, that's completely up to you. If this seems like something that your server needs because you get a lot of commonly asked questions in chat, then by all means, go for it. But if you're running just a small server with a group of friends, you probably don't need this plugin. However, it is pretty fun to play with ChatGPT inside of Minecraft, but I wouldn't buy it just because it's fun. I'd buy it because it has a practical use. Sucker bopper, sucker bopper. You can suck all day and pop all night. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. You're now an absolute gaming legend. Make sure to do all the YouTube stuff. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment. If you need help with this plugin or you just want to chat, feel free to join my Discord or the GPT Assistant Support Discord server. Okay, I'll see you all on the other side. Peace out. Crafters. <laughs>